Hey guys, this is Alex here from Let's Play 40K. So today I just want to give you guys a little bit of a uh, talk through on a few of the things I'm going to be working on this week. Uh, one of them is actually I'm going on vacation for a bit, so I'm not going to have a video up for probably four or five days. But in the meantime, what I'm going to be working on is I'm going to be working on some alien terrain. So what I wanted to do was an alien forest with some nice, bright, vibrant jungles, some nice plants. Um, so what I did is I went to the local craft store I have here called Michael's and I went to the flower section I picked up a bunch of these flowers. Um, they were like fake flowers that were really cheap. They're on sale So I picked up all these plants. I'm going to show you a few of them I also picked up a few other things to finish off the terrain I'm just going to walk you through what my plan is and then I'll show you um, Later on this week uh, how everything's turning out. I'll give you a walkthrough for it So I got this guy here. It comes with about eight different pieces of foliage And what the plan is is to snip them off at the edge right about here I'm going to wash them down and I'm going to give them a light airbrush over top and then it's going to blend in with a bunch of the other colors. So I got this green here, this nice bright green. I also picked up this yellow one, I think this one here was like $1.50. Um, so it's this nice yellow, I'll show you up close. Not the best quality, but in the end it will look very nice. Um, just kind of give it more brightness. So now we got yellow and we got green. I picked up this blue here. This blue looks quite nice. It's a nice color. It's nice and vibrant. Um, better quality than the yellow one, but still not superb. These three colors right now. Picked up another blue, like a dollar or something. I couldn't say no. I picked up this nice pink one here. This one here, look, the reason why I grabbed this one is because it looks much different than all the other plants. And what I'm planning to do is put, like, snip off around here. I should put one or two in each bundle that I'm planning on doing. Some of them are going to be more dense than others. Some of them are going to be quite dispersed. Some of them are just going to be one or two here and there. Uh, through the terrain. And I picked up this nice red one here. So this red one here is a nicer, darker color. It'll blend really well with the pink. Um, and it'll also blend really well with the green. But what I'm going to do to get rid of this kind of sheen that they have on them is I'm going to put them through like an Agrax or Shade wash or Devlin mud or something like that. And then I'm going to lightly airbrush over top just to give it an OSL of light coming from the top. Another thing I picked up that was really cool, actually, is these decorative fillers here. So what this one is, is it's actually like a seashell, essentially. So what the plan is for these, is they're going to be fillers between where the terrain is and the board mat. I'm going to use terrain pieces, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread these throughout the terrain, just kind of scatter around the edges, just so it'll blend in with the actual bases more. Uh, so with these guys, since they're nice and vibrant, all I wanted them for was for the shape, and they were extremely cheap. I think this was like $3, and it's the last me the entire board. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a wash. I'm going to soak the shells in there until they absorb a lot of the color and then I'm going to lightly airbrush over top of them um, so that they become the color I want them to do and I'm going to dry brush. And for three dollars I couldn't say no. I'll show you when it works out. I took these leftover foam bricks I had from other terrain that I was planning on building years and years ago and I never got around to it. So I took these guys and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this fine cork I bought on off eBay. I'll post a link down, link down below. And some more of the medium cork I bought. I got some grass pouches, some flock I made myself, and then there is some static grass I have as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna base that with base that over top of the styrofoam here. I wanna do the airbrush as the last step, but I want them washed down first. That way the wash is not getting all over top of your base. Also for the base ones, I have some different size ones. These are all just leftover ones I had years ago that I just want to use up. So I got a little bit of texture in it. And then I'm going to build this nice long bridge between. Um, it's going to be going over top of some water effect and then it's basically going to be a hold the bridge in the middle. Also while I was there, I saw this guy was on sale. Uh, what it is, it's actually meant for hanging up uh, large picture frames. So it's the wire that goes between. But if you look really closely at it, I don't know if you'll be able to see, it's got multiple wires throughout. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make barbed wire out of that. And I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Um, it's just so much cheaper and it actually looks a lot nicer in the end. And when I'm done with it, I will definitely show you guys. I'll post lots of pictures throughout. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy what I'm talking about. Um, if you do, hit a like. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, definitely leave it in the comments down below. Alright, see you guys. Bye.